Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Delena. If you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, turn on that notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of my uploads. Today I will be sharing my entire luxury sunglass collection, so let's get into it. <music> It is time for us to talk about one of my favorite accessories outside of handbags, of course, sunglasses. So I have really gotten into sunglasses over the last couple of years. I used to be this person that said, oh, I'm not gonna really buy luxury sunglasses. I'm not gonna spend all that money on a pair of sunglasses. I might just lose them. And y'all, over the last couple of years, I've clearly changed my mind because I have added several new pairs of sunglasses to my collection that were not cheap. <laughs> So I wanted to take time out today to kind of show you guys my entire luxury sunglasses collection. Um, I don't think I've ever done this before, probably because I never had too many. Um, I think now I have 10 or 11 pairs, so I have enough at this point to say, okay, you have a collection. So I wanted to kind of show you all of them. As I was going through to kind of look for these to see if I can link them, I was able to find most of these sunglasses. And if not the exact pair, I was able to find like a similar um, style maybe just a different colorway so if you are interested in any of these sunglasses you're going to see today please check out the description box down below so I wanted to initially do this video in order of when I bought them and then I'm like no because now I'm going to get all order all out of order with the brands let me just go ahead and just do them somehow in like alphabetical order or just group them by the designer which is pretty much what I'm planning to do so I have Burberry, Celine, Chanel, Dior, Fendi, Gucci, and I think that's all the brands I have. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pair of sunglasses. So these first pair of sunglasses I purchased last summer. These are Burberry shades that I did uh, purchase off of Nordstrom Rack. I was able to find um, this particular style on Nordstrom Rack. The only thing is they don't have this exact colorway, but they do have two options that are similar, just different colors. So these ones are like a gold kind of um, very light. You really can kind of fully see the eyes through. These are sunglasses I would wear somewhere if I wanted to wear sunglasses inside, but I didn't want to look silly. I would absolutely wear these. They are so comfortable on. They are extremely lightweight. And just so you can see the detail, there is the Burberry check there. It does say Burberry there on the end, which hopefully my camera is picking that up. Let's see. I think it is so you get a nice little detail these I believe were when I purchased them either 119 or 129 so super duper affordable if you are someone that's into designer shades but you are not wanting to spend a ton go on Nordstrom Rack I started looking at Nordstrom Rack on uh, for sunglasses from Roya which I will link her channel down below um, Bonita was talking about sunglasses so quite a few people that I watch that pick up sunglasses from Nordstrom Rack kind of influence me and I will show you all the pair that they specifically influenced me to buy but yeah these are so fire so cute so lightweight they came with the nice case and everything y'all just so this video is not too long I'm not gonna pull everything everything out on all of these sunglasses but they came with the case they came with the box so you get the full kind of experience the luxurious experience if you were to purchase these in store or at sunglass hut or somewhere like that so again if you want to shop at Nordstrom Rack for most of them you're going to get a case cleansing cough and in my case I got a box as well so next up on the list we're going to move on to Celine so I have three pair of Celine sunglasses which you have all seen them but I'm going to go ahead and pull them out so the first pair is the newest pair that I have that I just showed you all in my spring favorites video these have that really beautiful silver detail it has the triumph detail on the side this is that more kind of long rectangular style which I really like this um, again a very very nice shape I do like it with what I have on today more like kind of sporty I do think that these are really edgy they're comfortable on the face so if you have a wider um, face like me and you've been trying to find this style I highly recommend them and just that detail just so you all can zoom in camera 
There we go, so you can guys can see all of the detail. These shades are very dark. <laughs> so these are not a pair of sunglasses that I personally would wear somewhere on the, you know, being on the inside. This is definitely an outdoor sunglass. Definitely gonna protect your eyes for sure when you wear these. But yeah, they're just fly. I think these were about 550. However, I did get a price match, so I paid 495. And then I also got a Nordstrom note when I purchased these. So I saved a little bit of money by getting these. Um, with Nordstrom, you know they always price match. So if you see these somewhere else for a lower price and you want to get them, but you don't really trust that site or you're not comfortable with that site, definitely check out Nordstrom and they will price adjust for you usually. Of course, you have to submit the request, but typically they're going to approve it. I have price adjusted several times and I've never gotten denied. The next pair of Celine sunglasses are one of my favorites. Now y'all, these really don't all have names to them. If they do, I will try to put the full name in the description box. But these are the acetate sunglasses from Celine. They're the Triumph detail. They do have the gold on the side. These come in several different color options. So if you're like, oh girl, I'm so sick of black sunglasses. Trust me, I personally don't need any more, but for whatever reason, I love them so much, I keep buying them. Um, but they have different colorways. Now I'll be honest, I am not the person that really likes colorful sunglasses. I could definitely see me doing like a clear, um, you know, gold and maybe like a nude, but all of these bright colors, that's really not my vibe. I consider myself pretty simple when it comes to sunglasses and you're gonna notice it as we work through my collection. But these are really fly. They're really comfortable on the face. Again, I love that like kind of cat eye effect. I think that just looks really good on my face. And of course, at this moment, they are my favorite pair. So if you are looking for some that you're just like, you wanna be able to wear them all the time, I got these in September and I I have most definitely got my money back on these already. <laughs> I have worn them out. I love them so much. Um, just to show you, here's what the case looks like. And the case looks like this for all of them for my Celine shades. Um, I don't have a cloth in this one at the moment, but they come with, you know, their cleansing cloths. You know, they come with the whole shebang. So if you are buying a pair of these, you're gonna get the full kind of detail. So my third pair from Celine is the pair I got for Christmas this year. This is the Celine Butterfly Shape. These are also black as well with the gold detail. The tag is still on these because I haven't wore them yet. For some reason, this particular sunglass shape, I like these better for like spring, summer. So I'm definitely planning on wearing these really, really soon. But just so you can see them up close, that is what they look like. And I'm just gonna put them on so y'all can see them on me. And I like these a lot. Now, the only thing sometimes I hate about bigger sunglasses, y'all, is they cover your eyebrows. <laughs> um, maybe depending on your face setup, maybe they won't cover them as much, but in these, my uh, eyebrows are covered completely, which can be a little bit annoying, but no biggie. They're really, really cute. And again, I plan on wearing these like on a summer vacation. To me, these just give vacation vibes. Like big sunglasses to me on like a regular weekend, I don't always pull for this style. I like these on vacation, especially when you're like not wearing makeup or you're going to a pool party or to the pool and you don't want to put any makeup on, but you still want to give a look. That is typically when I'm gonna pull these sunglasses out. So my bigger sunglasses, I have not been wearing lately as y'all probably know, but um, they're fly, they're cute, they're comfortable. These are another pair that come in several different colors. This particular shape is made by several different brands. So if you are trying to figure out who to get these from, Prada has a shape like this, Gucci has a shape like this. Really the shape looks exactly the same. It just depends on what brand you purchase from that's gonna give you some different detail here on the side. But I have seen this style done in so many different ways and so, by so many different brands. So if you're not interested in you know paying this kind of price, you may find them from another brand cheaper. Also, let me just say this y'all, most of these sunglasses you're gonna see today, you can find a dupe on Amazon. So if you're watching this video like, girl, I'm not spending 500, 400, 200, whatever on sunglasses, just know, you, if you love these or any of the ones that you see today, you can find a dupe on them. And actually this one here, there is a pair that my girl Coco McQueen has on her site. They're a little different. I think they're also a little bit smaller than this. I feel like you can see your brows. I'm gonna try to get the link from her to post that so you all can go check that out. Or I'll probably just post her website because she has a pair and I just love them. I'll try to pop a picture up. 
but they look very similar to this they're just like a little bit smaller they're really really cute so i will make sure i go ahead and put those in because obviously they're going to be much more affordable so if you like this style but don't want to spend i think these were 510 then you can check those out so the next pair of sunglasses in my collection is coming from chanel so this is the case for the chanel sunglasses these sunglasses i purchased last spring sort of around this time last year i think april somewhere around there these ones i really really like they have a beautiful the gold cc details the shape is super cute more of a rounded kind of shape similar to the celine's but those are very square rectangular looking these ones are more rounded these are super duper cute when i saw these in store i was like oh i can actually wear smaller like <laughs> frame sunglasses I was always just un of the, you know, understanding that, okay, you have a bigger face, you got to wear big sunglasses. But when I got these last year, I was like, you know what? I do not always have to buy super big sunglasses. There are some other cute sunglasses that will work for me. I just have to find them. And these y'all, fire. They look so good on me. I just love these so much. Now, this style to me is a little bit more like edgy sporty vibe so like i like wearing these when i'm wearing like either a combat boot a sneaker um if i'm wearing a sandal maybe like a dad sandal like that's the kind of vibe these give me they're not like super um the shape is not so like dressy kind of like my celine ones they're similar to these as well but the celine ones i feel like i can dress up or dress down these i feel like they're gonna be just a little bit more sporty vibes i got these from nordstrom i believe they were 475 somewhere around there i don't think that's a bad price they do kind of have that ombre lens and it's brown i don't know if you can see it but it definitely kind of gets um starts darker and kind of gets lighter at the bottom um i will link these down below it does say these are the 55 mm um, but yeah, they are fire. Not really too much more to say, but other than I really do love these. Um, I think this is a great price point. Really, the 500 weight range for sunglasses to me is pretty acceptable. Um, especially if you know you're going to take care of them and if you're going to wear them a lot. Which for me, most of my sunglasses, I rotate pretty well. Much better than I do with my handbags. So I don't mind spending it now that I kind of see the value in them. And I don't like flimsy things, right? To me, sometimes a cheaper sunglass is going to be so flimsy. They're just not going to hold up well. And all of these sunglasses you're seeing today, I've had these all for, you know, some time with the exception of the Celine ones I just got, but they're holding up just fine. So if you're worried about that, trust me, you're going to take care of these. You're not going to be losing them or anything like that. They're going to last. They're going to be worth it. So if you're kind of debating on if you should buy your first pair of designer shades, I'm here to tell you it's worth it. Go ahead. So we are moving to Dior. I have three pair of Dior sunglasses and I feel like I'm kind of going through what I went through with my Dior shades with Celine. Like I just fell in love with all of their styles at the time that I was purchasing their sunglasses. And now I feel that way about Celine. It's kind of crazy to me. But the first pair of Dior sunglasses that I got are these here. These are super cute, big, oversized. They do have the Christian Dior like kind of written here. These were purchased from Saks while I was in, um, I was out of town somewhere. Where was, where was I guys? I think I was in Vegas. Yes, I was in Vegas. So my girl Candace sent me a Saks gift card for my birthday and I was so excited because I'm like, ooh, I think I want to get a pair of designer shades. And I think this pair kind of pushed me into wanting more and more designer shades. So I got these, I think they were 440. Um, I used a gift card and I wanna say I had like a reward at Saks at the time. So I didn't spend much on these out of my pocket. Um, I love them. These are another pair that I love for vacation. They just give me, you know, the vacay vibes. Again, they're oversized. If you don't wanna wear makeup, you're not trying to get all fixed up to go out for a pool day or you're walking around in the resort, these are perfect. No one's gonna see you. Half of your face is covered. They're perfect. So I was able to find these, I think, on um, My Teresa. Yes, because a while back, maybe a year ago, I posted these because Saks had them for like 
under $300, I believe, and you guys bought them up. Um, <laughs> so I could not find them anywhere else, but I did find them on My Teresa if you're looking for this exact style. There are some other ones that are definitely similar to this, but this exact style, the only place I could find them was on the My Teresa website. But yeah, super duper cute sunglasses. Love the gold detail. You know, black and gold is just my thing when it comes to sunglasses. So that is typically what I go for. And also right in the middle there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a CD detail. So definitely nice details with these sunglasses. Comfortable, you know, definitely feel like, you know, they're good quality, not too heavy, but not too lightweight that they're flimsy. They're just overall perfect. So the next pair of Dior shades are these beautiful brown shades here that have that gorgeous CD detail on the side. Now these, I could not find this tortoise shell style anymore, but I was able to find like the all black on black. So if you like these a lot and you are wanting them and maybe black, I did find those for you. These are super duper cute on me. Um, I love this shape. The shape is so good. The CD detail on the side, it just adds that extra touch. These are so cute. These are one of the maybe two or three pair or three pair of like brown sunglasses that I have. I really want another pair. I want a pair of brown sunglasses, another pair of this year. And I also want a more clear looking pair of sunglasses. So that is what I hope to find um, this kind of spring summer because I want to add a little excitement because again, I'm typically going for like the black, the browns. So I want to add a little excitement, maybe get um, a clear pair. I want to check out some I seen at St. Laurent. So there, there's a couple sunglasses I have interest in. It'll just have to be which ones make the most sense because I'm not going to go crazy since I've already bought one pair of sunglasses this year. So yeah, I'm going to think about it. But these ones, super duper cute. Um, they feel really good on my face. They're not too tight or anything like that. They just look really good. And just so you all can see, this is what the Dior case at the time that I got my sunglasses, all the cases look exactly just like this. So very similar. One may be smaller than the other, one may be bigger, but same sunglass case, you get your cloth. They always came with a Dior box as well. So you get the full experience. So this is also a good alternative for people that are like, okay, I don't wanna spend a lot on handbags. I don't wanna spend a lot on shoes. What can I get? that's maybe $500 or less that I will love that I can get a lot of use out of. If you like sunglasses, I highly recommend sunglasses because they're gonna give you the full designer experience. If you go in store, I'm sure you're gonna get the nice store bag and all of that stuff. You're gonna get a box, you're gonna get a cleansing cloth, a case. I mean, you're gonna get the whole thing. And then again, if you don't wanna spend that much, but you still want the designer sunglasses, go to like a Nordstrom Rack or you can even shop for them pre-loved as well. And so my last pair of Dior shades, this case is a lot bigger than the other one. These are a pair of sunglasses that I purchased Christmas 2022. I have not wore these yet because honestly, y'all, I forgot about these. <laughs> I forgot about these. And the reason I forgot about them is because when I first got them, I'm like, okay, they're just like a little tight on my face. But at that time I had picked up a lot of weight. It was the holiday season. And I'm like, you know what? I need to just revisit them once I've like lost a little bit of weight. So I put them on today and they definitely fit a lot better than they did before um i can imagine you know as your girl sheds a couple more pounds they'll probably fit even better they're not tight they're not tight at all um but i think when i first got them to me they were a little tight but i did not want to return them because i love this style so these are kind of like a gray they have the cd detail on the side again another oversized look i like this detail here as well um, to me, these are just a really great pair of sunglasses. They came in different colorways. I've seen them in like a burgundy, a pink. So I will definitely link the ones that I can find. I don't know if I'm able to, was I able to find this exact colorway? I think these were called like slate gray. I don't know if I could find the exact ones, but I will definitely link what I can find. You know what I'm thinking what would be cute with these? My like dark gray Chanel bag. They would be cute. And now that I have these on y'all, they fit so much better. Like they really fit much better on me. They're not tight on the face. They're not like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get a headache from wearing these. They look a lot better. So yeah, I'm glad I didn't like go try to sell these or give these away or anything because I really love this style. Again, another pair that I would love on like vacation or you know, if I'm going somewhere where I'm gonna be outside all day, a festival or um, a park for an event or something like that. 
that's what I would love these for as well. So we are down to two pair of sunglasses. So the first pair that I'm pulling out is a pair from Gucci. This is my first pair of designer sunglasses outside of designer sunglasses that I purchased when I was younger. I think I've told you all this before. I used to work at Sunglass Hut. Um, so <laughs> I had some designer shades back then. Um, might even have some still in the house somewhere, but y'all, I don't be wearing them because they either out of style. Um, maybe if I go to a 90s party or something, I'll pull those out, but I don't be wearing those at this point. So no, no need to mention them. And they're so old, I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to find those to share them with you. So I just decided not to pull those out. But this is the first pair I bought like a full grown adult. Let's say that. So <laughs> this particular pair is another kind of oversized pair. They do have the red and green Gucci detail with the GGs there for you. And here's the other side. And then that's what they look like. Kind of like that more kind of squarish roundish shape. So these are kind of like loose on me now. Um, they used to fit perfect, but they're kind of like loose to the point where sometimes they kind of fall off if I'm leaning down. I can't remember the last time I wore these, but I feel like I wore them somewhere and they fell kind of off of me a little bit. But nonetheless, they're super cute. Again, love the red and green details. So if maybe I'm doing like a swim, you know, swimsuit that kind of has that red and green going on, I may pair that with these. These are cute. I think I'm at a place where these, I may give these to my mom. My mom loves big sunglasses. <laughs> and I already have a couple different pairs. And because they're so lo loose on me, I don't know. And I feel like they're gonna be loose on her too. Um, but I don't know if I'm like gonna pull for these. I haven't pulled for them in a while. When I first got them, and this was before I was on YouTube. I think I got these in 2016 or 2017. When I was going on vacations, I was wearing these out. So the little $300 I spent on these, because I did get them from Sunglass Hut, they had some type of promotion where if you spend so much, you get like 75 bucks off. So I paid under or around $300 for these. So I've got my money back, okay, y'all? I know y'all like, you ain't wore them? Girl. When you done bought something several, several years ago, you probably got your money's worth in the first year or two. And that's how I feel about these. So these, I might add these on my list of sunglasses or items that I plan on kind of giving away. Um, but yeah, they're cute though. I mean, I'm not like in a rush because they're cute, right? But um, yeah, that's my thoughts on these. Very cute. I did find these on Sunglass Hut website still. I think they said they were like four. 35 so yeah i probably paid three something for them because like i told you i had like a 75 dollar deal these are pretty lightweight like these don't really have a ton of weight to them let me show you the packaging now i don't know if gucci still does this packaging but you first get this really cute like green gucci kind of dust bag here so that way if you want to carry them in your purse you don't have a room for this big old case you can use that then you get the case here and then inside of it is a dust cloth and then just like my little information package. But the packaging for Gucci sunglasses is absolutely stunning. So if you're in the market for a pair of their sunglasses, I'm pretty sure they probably still do something similar to this. I recommend them. But yeah, they're a good pair of glasses. Again, got my money's worth on them. May just want to do away with them since I haven't been pulling for them. But Overall, no complaints and they're really, really cute. So my last pair of sunglasses is coming from Fendi. So this particular pair of sunglasses, I don't think I've worn these before y'all, don't judge me. I did not pay much for these because this is the pair that Roya and Benita sort of inspired me to purchase. So let me just show y'all. There's the cleansing cloth that came with it. These are from Nordstrom Rack and they were $119 or $129. So very, very affordable. They came full packaging, your care booklet, everything. They came wrapped up really nicely. They have that gorgeous Fendi detail. This is what they look like on. These are really cute, y'all. I forgot about these. See, the thing is, y'all, because when you're somebody like me who be up and down and wait, these I feel like a while ago I put them on and they just felt tight but now they feel really good <laughs> and then again the detail on the side is absolutely stunning I love these so y'all if you have any sunglasses that you know you bought them a year ago and maybe you shed it a couple pounds you like let me put them on they they really look good both these and the Dior ones that weren't looking the best on me at the time 
they look so good and i was not returning these because i'm like girl they 120 dollars 130 dollars i probably had a nordstrom note when i bought these too so it was not worth it but y'all i'm really about to be wearing these because like i just said i need some more brown sunglasses and the lenses are really light on these as well y'all can see my eyes through I'm obsessed with these. I'm gonna see if I can find them. I wanna say that these are a pair that they still have on like their website full price. I wanna say that was the thing with these. And that's why when I saw them come back in stock on the website on Nordstrom Rack, I raced and bought them. <laughs> so I think that's what it is. So I'll try to see if Nordstrom Rack has them. Probably not because at the time they were like flying off the you know shelves in the warehouse i guess but yeah they were flying off so i don't know if you can get them there anymore but if i can find the exact shape and you like these i would definitely link them they look so much better y'all i'm telling you they look better okay so that is my last pair of designer sunglasses i felt like i had more than this but then i remembered like no you really only started really getting into sunglasses um 2021 is when I got the Dior ones and then from there I got a Dior pair like whatever the next holiday was then Christmas I bought some in 22 then in 23 I bought sunglasses now this year you know I've been buying more so I thought I had a little more than this but this is all of my sunglasses again I love them all so much y'all already know my favorites are the cat eye Celine's um I just have worn them so much and I have gotten my money out because they just go with any and everything. Some of these other sunglasses kind of go with different looks, different type of vibes so they don't get worn maybe as much. But those, I wear them all the time, y'all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I, maybe I gave you some inspiration of sunglasses to pick up this spring, summer or sunglasses for your next vacation. Again, I love these all. In my opinion, they are worth the money. The most expensive pair was the Dior gray pair. Those were 610, but I also had some type of Saks reward um, because I think I bought my husband something from Saks and I got like a $75 gift cards something like that y'all so i did not pay full price on them most of these sunglasses i've gotten like some sort of deal whether it got me points to get a nordstrom note or i got it from nordstrom rack and they were on sale or um you know i had a gift card or something like that so most of them i haven't had to come out of pocket all of my own money um but doesn't matter i still think they're worth it so if you're shopping for any of these definitely let me know down in the comments which ones you're thinking of picking up sunglasses really just add to your look if you have been someone like oh sunglasses are not for me i think for a while that was me i wasn't a big sunglass person my sister she has always been someone that loves sunglasses and i'm like back in the day i'm like i don't be wearing sunglasses i don't find nothing to look good on me blah 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 and then i started realizing they make sunglasses for everyone you just have to go out and find your perfect style and really you need to go and try some on and then from there once you find your perfect style you can find them across brands whether you're at target neiman Saks, wherever you are you can find them you just have to go and look so again i love sunglasses sunglasses one of my favorite accessories so hopefully you all enjoyed today's video i appreciate all of your love and support please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one